Hi, in this video I continue with the pool table vector graphic and again I'm going to put links on the video that will open in a new tab so if you missed the first parts of this tutorial you can go ahead and check them out let's continue and select this piece then Control D to duplicate it then I'm going to use this option to rotate it holding down the shift key I'm going to select this piece and I'm going to click here to bring the align and distribute dialog and use this option next I'll click away and then zoom in click here and holding down the control key I'm going to move this zoom in closer to make sure I align this correctly now let's move to the right side here grab this tool click and then I'm going to select these two nodes and again holding down the control key I'm going to align this one here Next I'm going to drag a guide, double click on the guide and type in minus 67 degrees, click enter and then click OK. And I'm going to grab this guide and position it at the edge here. Next I'll click on this node holding down the control key, I'm going to snap it to this guide and then mouse over the guide and the delete key, let's undo this mouse over the guide, delete key to remove it then grab the select and transform tool click here, control D to duplicate it and then use this option then holding down the control key I'm going to move this over here and again align this piece now next I'm going to select this one Control D to duplicate it, use this option and then shift select this one and use this option next select this piece, Control D to duplicate it, use this option shift click here, then use this one next I'm going to drag another guide and position it over here and then I'll select this circle holding down the control key I'm going to move it and make sure the selection box aligns with the guide then I'm going to again mouse over and delete the guide and we are pretty much done for this tutorial now I'm not going to duplicate these circles for now and position them because I first want to apply some effects on them like you see here so I'm first going to do the effects on these pockets and then I'm going to duplicate them and distribute them around the table so that's it for this tutorial and I'm going to continue in the next part meanwhile you can visit my GIMP tutorials channel I'll put link on the video so that's it for now bye